Martin Tino Jr., my Lolo became chairman of the Comelec, and he was the one who transferred the Comelec to Intramuros. I was in grade school. He would go home at 6 o'clock every afternoon. They pick us up at 4 o'clock, so I have to wait for him in his office. So I would go around Intramuros in the 19, early 50s. It was all ruins. I've always been interested in old houses. I began traveling throughout the whole country. Intramuros was the biggest European city in Asia. This is our history. It defines our culture. The problem is most of our officials do not appreciate it. IA was founded. And uh, Jimmy Laya, I didn't know Jimmy Laya. He got me as a consultant. Then we started having exhibits. Uh, the first ever on relieves, on santos, on ivory. We have all these horrible looking modern buildings. I wish they could tear it down and rebuild it properly. And in the early days, it was really a dead town. Even when Casa Manila was finished, we would make whatever pakulo just to bring in people. In the afternoon, Intramuros was empty. Empty. There was hardly any people. Since last year, I'm really amazed at how Intramuros has grown and has attracted so many people considering the problems we had in the beginning. There are thousands of people coming here and all of them are paying. The entrance fees, restaurants, every, all those calais. Can you imagine? It's alive. You can see the whole thing is alive. <laughs>